Okay, so hello everybody, it's your friendly male blade here. Um, before I actually get this video started, I'm gonna let you all know that you should uh, go to X Shadowy X Mist's channel and same with Depths of Eden's channel and just go like drop a like on their latest video because I mean uh, they kind of received received the short end of the stick on what just happened. I I don't I don't know why I just said that, but I think you get the gist of it. Like they kind of didn't receive any support from anybody that shouted them out in their latest video about this glitch that they spent a lot of time and hours into finding. It's a pretty interesting glitch too, so just go show them some support. Like I'd actually really like that. If you want to know how to do this is how this is done, just go do that. So let's get into the video now. Oh hello there. Okay, so now first objective we are doing is armoria lockers. Now I'm gonna try to do this as fast as I can. So this first one I would suggest you just shoot out these two things and you're going to want to place your shield in between these two tiles. Not so that it places on one of the sides, but place it forward so that it places in between. And once you do that, tilt it a bit to the right. And then you're just going to want to vault up here and you're going to want to sprint onto the sink and when you do, you're just going to want to try to run onto that little panel or whatever it's called. So. I will just try this now. You want to make it so that you don't fall down so that you're around the same height as the panel is. Now, for some reason, this is being a little more frustrating than usual. But as you saw, I just got up here and sprint onto this. Then you're going to want to look around this little corner right here for a vault sign. Now, you don't always find a vault sign, so then sometimes you'll have to move your shield. And when that happens, it's kind of annoying. Ah, you see, I just saw one right there. Let me try to get a little closer. And I got up here. So, you can see over there. You could see a bit into the window over there if you're a rook and you have an ACOG, maybe you could see over there, and you could see into computer room. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, but you could see into computer room. Now this next spot is right there or right there, whatever you want to do, but you're just going to want to place a shield around this location, vault on top of this, and come on top of the lockers. Now this is why I shot out the computer so that this is easier and then you're just going to run on here and walk on here. Once you're on here you can just look for a vault sign on this. And you're up here so if you go to the very far right side you can see a little peek over here into the doorway if somebody tries to kill a teammate that's sitting right there or there. But you could also see over there and if you look right here you can see into the small room now these next two that I'm going to show do require it to be secure area. So this one you're going to want to place your shield in between that and that. So just climb on top of the secure area box and look for a vault sign. Now I have some troubles with this one sometimes, or finding the vault sign that is, but as you saw I just got it by looking at that location. So I suggest you come prone in this corner if you're going to sit up here. Now, you can shoot through that. Like, see, look, I'll shoot a hole back there. Yeah, you see all those holes. And you can see down there a bit. I wouldn't suggest you do it, though. Now you can see over there. And once again, you can see into the hallway. Now this next spot I was going to show, you just need to take your shield, place it right here and vault on top of this come on here and there's a, a lot of different things you could do so then you just look for a vault sign now this first one if you just push your way onto this as soon as you vault on here then you'll be able to get up here and over there but as you saw I just got off of it now I can't get back on it but uh, you can come around here you could sort of see over there you can see into computer room and over there but 
the only reason I would ever do this one is if I s sat right here because this one you're actually kind of hidden and if they don't drone you out or enter from that door first then you'll be able to get a couple people over there now this next one I'm not gonna add a voiceover for uh, so you're just gonna have to watch carefully what I do on the next one so yeah let's get on to the next okay, spot then. so that spot isn't actually as hard to get into as I th thought it was so to get up here you're just gonna keep your shield around the um I'm sorry uh, you're just gonna have to keep your shield around this so you're gonna wanna keep it a bit far away from it but then close to it at the same time and you have to be a three speed with for this I think three or two speed or you could just have a friend place another shield for you but why would somebody want to waste their shield on that? So once you're up here, you just want to look around the corner, around this area, and you might eventually find a vault sign. Now, if you do not find one instantly, you don't have to worry, because the chances are you probably just don't have your shield far away from, or close enough to this doorway, because you want to compare how to get up here by how close your shield is to the doorway, like see how many mine is one, two, three, four panels of wood, or four, I don't know what to call those, but you get the idea, you know what I was counting, so once you're up here, you could see the window over there, oh no, you can't see over there, but you can see through that doorway, you can see a bit if somebody enters there, and yeah, now let's get on to the next portion okay, of the video. Okay, so for offices, there is this, and I'm pretty sure everybody almost everybody knows about this computer spot so you're going on to place your shield in this location and just crouch and vault onto the computer and aim for that now vault or crouching before you vault does help you on the computer if you guys don't know and once you come onto the shield just I prefer to shoot at the boxes it just makes me feel better about myself just look for a vault Now you see, I am kind of up here. Now I wouldn't suggest you try to fall in between these, because if you fall, you're kind of stuck forever. There's no way to get out unless you die. And if they drone you, you die. Yeah. But if you do have a teammate that just decides to destroy the computer because they're probably smart and know that the enemies might eventually use that to their advantage, you can just place a shield to get up here and shoot the boxes, it helps, and sprint up here. And you're up here. A lot of people don't know this, but you can vault through this like that. I've gotten a few clutches, uh, not necessarily clutches, but a few 4Ks, 3Ks, and such with that. But yeah, now let's get on to the next location, which I'm just going to run to. Because why go skip into a transition when I could just run over here? So, this first one, you just want to place a shield. I don't see any use for this one, or much use for this one, not unless you have a teammate that has placed their shield for you. Because if I see a shield like this, I'm probably going to look around it to see if anybody's there. But once you're on the shield, just look for a vault sign. Uh, finding a vault sign on this is sort of painful sometimes. And you get the gist of it, you're up here, okay. Now I don't want to waste too much time on this video, so that's not too long of a video. So I'm going to be trying to skip a couple things, or skip a couple of descriptions. So just place your shield in between these two so that you can run onto it. And look for a vault sign around the corner. Now you're up here, you could shoot that to see anybody who is behind the door. You could use that computer for cover so that they don't see you. And yeah, that's basically all there is to that spot other than looking over there. Now, if you go prone on that spot, then sometimes when they drone, they won't see you. So now this next spot is kind of a bit harder to do than the other ones are. So you want to place your shield kind of curved like this. And come over here onto this. Make sure that you're standing up, because if you crouch, then you won't be able to stand up again. Like on this, you see, now I can't stand up. So you just want to walk onto it. Now sprint onto the, your shield and look for a vault 
I'll whip the wrong button. Look for a vault sign. Now, I really don't like having to look for this vault sign, but you can actually get up here. It's just really annoying. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to actually do that one, but you kind of get it. I don't think anybody's going to try to do that one too often because of how the vault sign doesn't show very often like you just witnessed. So this next spot, the vault sign shows a lot more often. And yeah, you just already saw it like almost immediately. So once you go prone, it's kind of better to go prone on top of stuff like this because people will just think that your objects like those boxes sometimes on quick first glance and you know you could see out there you could sort of spawn peek if you look out this window like if they're coming from west side you could see over there if they're coming from south side you could sort of see if they go decide to kiss the camera pole but um is that it for the top floor I believe that's all of the ones that you guys should know about on the top floor, so yeah, let's get on to the next objective now, which I will do workshop, yeah. Oh, okay. something happened, don't ask how this happened, I don't know how this happened. Um, the hell is that? Oof. Okay. That was, that was definitely interesting. Well now we're going to get on to the uh, workshop objective. Now. So let's select workshop. Why is my connection 45? Am I connecting to a server or myself? I don't understand. Okay, so the reason why I needed the biohazard container in here is if you vault on top of it, uh, you could actually look into the doorway and have a little pixel peek. This definitely gives you a little advantage over the enemy. Now, the actual th only thing that's notable in the objective, other than that right there, is uh, this right here. You just place a shield, come on it, and then use. Oh, well, okay. My shield's not close. Okay, my shield's not close enough, so you just want to run and vault. And once you're up here, you can see over there and over there. Now, this shield is also useful for another thing. If you come on top of it, you can actually see over this. And I have gotten quite a ton of kills using this angle in specific right here. And you are vulnerable to that door. But this isn't a strategy video. This is a spot video. So yeah, let's get on to the um, next area. So this area is slightly useful. Or this one's slightly useful. If people don't know why that shield is there, like, you just saw me run onto here. If, if you don't know that you could run onto here, then it's definitely going to be useful. Because, um, yeah, if somebody sees the shield in that specific placement right beside the table, you're probably going to suspect that they're up here if you know about this. Because I've seen a couple of people do that, and I've killed them because I knew about this. So, now I'm going to tell you about two spots, not actually show because I can't show you these ones. This one right here, it kind of got patched. Like you see how they placed little buckets up there so you can't vault over that anymore? Well, you still can get up here, it's just more difficult. Like, you just saw that right there. That's like a 1 in 100 chance of you seeing that vault sign right there. Now, I didn't actually expect to find the vault sign, but I did. So, yeah, you can just travel around over here, you obviously know that. But if you want to note down where I placed my shield, I'm probably going to note this down for if I ever need to do this during bomb. Then it's one tile, two tile, three tile, and exactly on the third tile that's where the shield is. Now this next one I'm not going to show you, I'm confident that I'm not going to show you. But, um, so... This one, it requires you to do a little shield glitch, and it'll push you on top of the shield and you just have to vault against that corner. But if you don't want to do that, then just use the shotgun vault. So blow open like this area right here, shoot it open with the shotgun, and place your shield right here. 
and then vault on top of the shield using the hole that's in the wall and then once you're on top of the shield aim for that corner right there and you'll be able to vault on top of it now that's about the only way that you can get up there unless you had a teammate that had placed the shield right here while you got up there and you would be able to vault on that corner but, um, Ah, yes, there's one more thing I could show you before I skip to the teller's objective. So that if you place the shield right here, it could double as an angle right here, and you can also vault on top of it, and vault on top of here. This one's not very useful, but it's only useful if they're coming in from that door, and you know that they're coming in from that door and nowhere else. Because if they come from that door, you're probably going to die. Same with that door. But... Yeah, let's skip to the next no, objective actually, now. Before I go into the teller's objective, amazingly enough, this spot still works. So you're going to want to place your shield about that far away from um, the platform. You want to crouch and vault. Now, you don't want to fall down like that, but uh, you're just going to want to come up here, and once you're up here, just sprint and vault. It's slightly difficult because you have to sprint on a rail, and this rail is kind of a slippery rail. But yeah, you see I just sprinted and vaulted, and now I'm up here. Now, they actually made some of these objects physical now. I think. I don't remember them being physical before. But yeah, now you're up here. And now that I actually figured out that you could do this again, I'm going to now go on to the objective tellers okay so now these will be the last spots that are gonna be shown in the video so this one all you gotta do is make sure that your shield is around like this area now this one I always have troubles with so don't blame me if I don't get it in the first couple seconds so once you're on here on the shield I just want to look for a vault sign. Yeah, that one right there was just pure luck, but you get the area. Like, once you know the tile and area that you're supposed to place a shield, you can get up here every few tries. But this one, I just consider this spot just a lucky vault spot. Like, you won't get the vault sign every time, or every few seconds. Like, see how I'm having trouble looking for the vault sign again? Yeah, it's just harder to find the vault sign there. But um, that's all you have to do for that spot. Now this next spot requires you to shoot out that crap and shoot those boxes. So once you do that, place your shield here, vault on the shield like so, and vault on top of that cola machine. And now you're up here. I wouldn't suggest using this one as often. Like, you would only use this one once somebody knocks open that window, you could get maybe a kill, then you should just run back here like like that. But this next spot I'm about to show you is uh, the final one that I've actually found. I think you might be able to get on top of that, but I don't really want to try that one, seeing as how hard it is to do that one right there. But this one is pretty easy, pretty useless, it's just there just there for you to know. But um, you just place shield, vault, and come on here. So, yeah. That's it for this video. Drop a like or a dislike based on what you thought of all of these spots, and yeah, that'll be it. Pfft. I never noticed those. Yeah. Farewell.